So I thought it would be really fun to do a get ready with me using Holy Grail products. So now I just mixed a little bit of my Revlon Color Stay in Ivory with my Makeup Forever. Um, these are my two favorite foundations. I accidentally got this one in the shade up though. This isn't 110, it's 115. So it's a little too dark and that's why I had to mix it with the Color Stay. So I look a little cray right now, but we're going to buff this out. This is the Real Techniques buffing brush, I think. Yeah, buffing brush. I love this thing. It's just so good. Real Techniques brushes are pretty magical. I don't know what it is about them, but they're so awesome. I just, I've been using them for years and years. They're some of my most favorite brushes. And now I'm just taking a clean Real Techniques blending sponge. I know it looks dirty, but it's stained. Um, I'm just going to kind of make sure I get rid of all of the lines because sometimes when you use brushes, they leave behind streaks and I just don't want any of that. So just take an extra second and go over your foundation with the sponge. I love this because I feel like this sponge is probably the next best thing to the beauty blender. These are pretty much the only foundations I ever use unless I'm trying out something new because they are just perfect. The formulas last all day long and they work really well for my dry skin and you guys know I, I always rave about these. So um, usually I get 110 in this one though so this is a little bit too deep but it works when I mix it with the Color Stay. so I don't know what I would do without Revlon Color Stay. This is in the normal to dry skin formula and it's the lightest shade in ivory. I would be lost without this. Now for my Holy Grail concealer. This is the Amazing Cosmetics Concealer. This is also in the shade Ivory, and this is the large tube. I get mine at Sephora. It's like 40 bucks. I know it's pricey, but it's so worth it because this is the best concealer I've ever used. It works so well for my dry skin. A little bit goes a long way. I've had this tube almost for a year, and I barely ran out just now. So... I've had this for a year and it's just like, it's the best thing. I keep coming back to it. I'll try other stuff. Like I tried the Tarte concealer and I did really like it, but I kept going back to this one just because this is a really nice texture to blend out. It's a little bit on the thinner side, even though it is a full coverage concealer. So it doesn't feel like you have a bunch of cake on your face. You know, with this Tarte one, it's a little bit thick. So you kind of feel like you're wearing concealer and I just, I prefer this over everything. So I'm just and taking a little bit on my little Sigma concealer brush and I like to conceal all right here kind of like the inner part of my eyes because this is where I have the most darkness like I have actual kind of like blue tones showing I don't know if it comes off on camera but I see it in person and I don't want it to be there so then I just take the rest and I kind of pop it under my eyes and then if I have any redness around my nose and then I just blend it out with the sponge and I feel like it brightens and it conceals at the same time. I don't like to take the sponge like on my eye though, so I use the brush for this part. But it really brightens up your face. I mean, especially if you are a person who has dark circles or if you have a little bit of darkness around your eyes like I do, it just makes a world of a difference. And then to set my foundation, I'm going to use some MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Natural. This is my Holy Grail. It's in the shade Light, and I've been using this for years. I keep coming back to it. I've tried so many face powders, drugstore and high-end, and this one just works for my skin. I have very dry skin, and I don't like to wear a lot of powder, so I just take this amount, and then I start powdering like the areas that look shiny. Now I want to do a little bit of contouring. This is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is the lightest one that they have and I love this. It is my hands down favorite contouring powder. I love to, lately I've really been into kind of just making my cheekbones look a little bit more present so I like to use this to just kind of chisel my face a little bit and this is the only bronzer that I find blends out very easily so it's nice to work plus, with. This smells like chocolate which is a huge plus always. So what I like to do is I start by just placing it out. I just start with that amount. That little tiny bit is all I'm going to use. And it doesn't look like much, but when you blend it out, it just starts to look so nice. And I'm not using any more product on the brush. I'm just softly kind of blending it out. So now for blush, I'm going in with my Essence Silky Touch Blush, and this is in the shade Baby Doll. This blush, really, you only need a tap because of how pigmented it is, and it's so easy to blend out. It really is silky, just like the name says. Like, I just, I can't get enough of these blushes. They're only $3 at Ulta. And before I get into my eye makeup, I just want to hydrate my lips a little bit with my Lipsol Lip Balm. This is the one in the pot that I got at the dollar store. Take a little bit of this, and I pop it on because I want my lips to feel hydrated while I'm doing the rest of my makeup. For 
eyeshadow, I'm going to use my beloved Makeup Geek shadows. These are seriously worth the hype. I tried them because of all of the hype, and ever since, I haven't been able to put them down, and I've purchased, like, all of the neutral ones that I really like. So this is my little Z palette with my Makeup Geek shadows. And actually, these two right here are Morphe shadows, but the rest are Makeup Geek, and I really love them. Um, I just love Makeup Geek shadows. They are so worth it. $6 each. I bought mine at Fame Expo in person, but you can get them online. I will leave a link down below for you. It is my personal link, so just putting that out there as a disclaimer. I especially love the matte shadows by Makeup Geek because they're so pigmented and really easy to blend out. I like these more than MAC eyeshadows. Not that I have a large matte collection, but I used to be all about MAC matte shadows. Like, that was the only matte shadow I would use. And I've just, I don't even touch my MAC shadows anymore. Like, I'm actually thinking about back to macking them because I never use them. So, Makeup Geek is just amazing and it's really worth it. Like, I'm not even, I'm not even playing. Like, you need to go check out Makeup Geek shadows. So, there we go. That's Latte blended into the crease of my eyes. I just love that color. I feel like it's the perfect, like, starting off shade for your shadow, especially if you're into neutrals. And then I'm going to take Peaches and Cream. This is also a really nice matte shadow. I'm just using the same brush. And I'm going to blend this. I'm just blending this over top of Latte really softly. And this one has kind of like a, almost a beigey look. It looks like it would be peach, but it's more beige like once you put it on your eyes. And now I'm taking a deeper matte shadow. This is called Frappe by Makeup Geek. And it is the most gorgeous warm brown. It's just, it's not as dark as Cocoa Bear. I have Cocoa Bear right here. Um, I don't use Cocoa Bear that much because it's a little bit, it's really, really rich and sometimes it looks orange on me. So I'm not a huge fan of this one. I like Frappe more for my skin tone. I really like to use this to kind of create the outer V shape. I don't always do this with my eyeshadow, but I love the way that it looks every time when I use Frappe. I just love this color. And then I'm taking a clean blending brush and I'm just going to softly blend this out. I'm not going to take it up. I'm just going to soften the edges a little bit. And I also like to take this shadow on my lower lash line. And I love this color on the lower lash line. I know a lot of people don't like to put shadow on their lower lash line, but I personally think it makes your eyes look a little less tired, especially if you have large eyes like I do. Um, I, I have a lot of creases under my eyes. I mean, naturally, I've just, I've always had them, even as a child. I get like really mean comments sometimes. People are like, oh my god, you already have wrinkles, you're so old, and I'm like, Okay, whatever. But, um, you know, I feel like when I do shadow on my lower lash line that it kind of, um, you know, just makes your eyes look less tired. I'll take a little bit of Cocoa Bear since I have it out here. I guess I'll just put it to use. And I do want to add a little bit of shimmer to my eyes, so I'm going to go in with my latest obsession, the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art Pens. And I did a whole review on them, so definitely check out that review if you want to see swatches and how I apply these. Everything is in that video, so I will link it down below. So I'm going to take the cream shadow side of Burnished Bling, and I'm just going to pop this in the center of my eyeshadow and this stuff is just so creamy plus once it dries it sets and it lasts all day so that's why I love it so much. For eyeliner I'm a huge gel liner fan this is the Maybelline gel studio liner I and really like this liner because it's very lightweight and it's so creamy plus it's a matte black it's not going to be shiny so I love that I, I really like my liner to be matte so now I'm just gonna do my wing and I like to kind of line it up with my lower lash line and then I just bring it in And there we go, that's the wing. And if you want to take an extra step, sometimes I like to kind of clean up the wing with a liner pen. And this is the L'Oreal Super Slim. It has such a nice, finely tapered pen. I love this. And it hasn't dried on me. I've had it for like, I want to say at least five or six months now. It's just so awesome. I like this better than the Jordana Fabu Liner because it's more tapered and it's easier to kind of clean up liner with. So I'll just see the top line right there. I'll just drag it along the very top part of the liner and it just kind of sharpens it up. Sometimes it's hard to make your liner perfectly sharp. So I just like to take this extra step. And I also like to add eyeliner in my waterline. This is my favorite pencil liner. It's the Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last. This is a pencil. It's super creamy. It is a dupe for the Urban Decay 24-7 liners, which I do have some of those and I'm trying to use them up, but I will not repurchase them ever since I discovered these because these babies are $3 at the drugstore and they are super pigmented. This is the brown shade. So I just like to take a little bit of this and pop it right in there. Now I'm just curling my lashes with my Shiseido Lash Curler. I got this at Sephora. It was like $19 and I know that's pricey but 
This is the best lash curler I've ever used. It seriously curls your lashes in like two seconds. For mascara, I'm using two of my most favorites. This one is my holy grail. It's the Maybelline Colossal Original Mascara. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm obsessed with this. I've loved it ever since it first came out. And that's how long I've been wearing it. I mean, this stuff is just awesome for me. It gives me length. It gives me volume. It holds curl. And the brush is so nice and soft. It's traditional bristles. And it has, it's just packed with little tiny bristles everywhere. And they really just grab all of your lashes. So usually I use this every single day, but lately I've really been loving to pair these two together. This is another one of my favorites. It's the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara, and it has a huge wand on it, so it's not for everybody. But for me, I love it for volume and curl. This is like what I like to use as a base, and then I apply this on top. And it feels very lightweight. This is not a wet formula. Um, this is really perfect. Like the texture of this is somewhere in between wet and dry. It's really good at holding curl as well so I like to kind of set the curl with this and then for volume and for drama and everything else I go in with my Maybelline Colossal which is just perfect for me. I love this stuff. I know not everybody loves it but I do. It's just one of my, this is really just my favorite mascara of all time and I still haven't done a full review on it so if you guys would be interested in that I will do that as well. Now moving on to brows, I love brow powder. This is the NYX Brow Cake Powder Set and this is in the shade Brunette. I still haven't switched over to Auburn yet for the NYX Brow Cake because I wanna use this up first. I just use the powder to fill in the gaps in my brows. So to create more of a defined look for my brow, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. This is my favorite stuff to define brows, and I'm just taking an angled brush from Sigma. This is in the shade Auburn. I finally caved and I purchased Auburn. I've been using this for the past month or so, and before I was using Medium Brown by Anastasia, so that's what I have, and I'm still trying to use that one up too, but lately I've been using Auburn. Um, either way, I mean, Anastasia has so many colors to choose from. I love this stuff because it's waterproof and it sets my brows. And then after I'm done brushing them, I like to set them a bit with my Milani Clear Brow Gel. This is my hands down favorite brow gel. It's like five bucks at the drugstore. I have to add some highlight, so I'm gonna go in with my most favorite drugstore highlighter. This is actually like in my top five favorite highlighters and it's the Physician's Formula Custom Nude Palette. This one is a natural nude. This is the lighter one. And then this is warm nude. This is a couple tones deeper. Um, I love this because it's, first of all, packaging is adorable on point as usual. And um, I like it because you can use these individual as eyeshadows. You could use the top half as a highlight and the bottom half as a bronzer and I like to swirl them all together so that's what I'm gonna do. And I just like to take the smallest amount and sweep it upwards. So these are really awesome highlighters and then of course last but not least the lips. I love lipstick. I love lip products. I have so many different lipsticks, drugstore and high-end but I've come down to my most favorite brand and I realized that this is pretty much the only brand that I use when I'm not testing out products and it's it's really overcome my MAC lipsticks, overcome my NARS lipsticks, like this brand has just like taken over my lip products and it's Bite Beauty. I first tried these based off of Emily Noel 83's um, recommendation of them and ever since like I could not believe how like she was just raving about these and I couldn't believe it. I was like, okay, if she really loves it, I need to try it. I wanted to mention that they have lipstick in pencil form as well as regular lipstick form. So this is their regular lipstick bullet and this is their high pigment lip pencil, but it's really a creamy formula just like lipstick. And this is in the shade Bokeh and I've worn this a lot in so many of my videos and a lot of you said that you have purchased this color and you really like it too. This is pretty much my perfect everyday lipstick and I just really like it because it's kind of a medium pink. It's not too cool, it's not too warm. I just feel like it's the perfect neutral pink. And I don't even use lip liner. These stay put in my lips and I like the fact that it's a pencil. So there we go, that is bouquet on my lips. It's super creamy. I love this formula. It's very hydrating and just so smooth. You kind of want to wear it all day long. This is a lipstick that, it's, it's become my favorite formula because honestly, it's so hydrating that I don't need a lip balm underneath it. And I am a person who, I always have to have my lips moisturized or else I just, like it drives me crazy. So that's why I like these because it's just a one-step product and go. And plus they have so many gorgeous colors. Bite 
Beauty has tons of colors. And I actually just purchased their holiday set, so I will be reviewing that soon. They have a really awesome holiday set right now that has a ton of their products, lip glosses, lipsticks, lip pencils, and I recommend you guys go and get it if you've been thinking about trying Bite. So that's it for this Get Ready With Me video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I thought it would be a really fun idea because I wanted to make a video talking about Holy Grail products anyway, but I figured I might as well talk about them while I show you guys how they work and why I love them so much. So um, if I, I will link down below any reviews I have on the products I mentioned, like the Physician's Formula, the Essence Blushes, I don't I don't remember, and the Revlon Eye Art Pens. I don't think I have full reviews on anything else yet, but if you want to see full reviews or if you want to see more Get Ready With Me's, I would love to hear from you guys. Tell me what you want to see and comment down below. I will see all your comments and reply to them. And please don't forget to let me know about your Holy Grail products. Um, I actually like write down what you guys recommend me, especially when it gets like a lot of thumbs up or a lot of people recommend it. I will check it out. Like I put it in my phone and I remember I look it up when I get to the drugstore and I'm like, okay, I got to try out this Maybelline gel. I got to try out this mascara, you know? So I really do appreciate all of your guys' comments and I will reply to you. I read all of them. Some of you don't have your reply buttons on, so make sure you have your reply button on or else I can't reply. Um, but anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, thank you so much for watching.